Oh, it's Hitman Absolution. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome back, if you're back. Hello, if this is the first time. My name's Guy, and we're going to play Hitman Absolution. Uh, it's the first time playing it. This is Monday the 19th of November. I just go to it. I've not really got much an idea what I'm getting into, except for the gameplay I've seen. And the gameplay makes it look like fucking Splinter Cell Conviction. So... I'm getting into this with a hate in my heart. No hate. Um, I'm not... I'm not overly excited, put it that way. I was until I saw the proper gameplay walkthroughs. Maybe it want to be shite. Here we go. And you, I did say I'd be playing shite games on this channel. But Sherlock turned out alright. Maybe this will be good. Maybe I just have to pretend it's no hit man. For years, Diana was my sole handler at the agency. She supplied information and secrecy, and I sold perfection. We had trust. Then last August 10th, Diana brought the agency to its knees. She flushed all accounts cut off all communication lines, exposed the agents, and used the confusion to vanish. Now the reformed agency has finally tracked her down and offered me the contract. One day, I will think of this as just another job. After all, this is what I do. Diana, she always talks about him. Way back when we first worked together. Those are the stories that I like the most. Sometimes I wish I could be like him. I know that some of the things he does are bad. Right, that's that's plenty. That's plenty there. I'm guessing that was a uh, Victoria, the last of it. Well, I mean, we already know what happens here. Forty-seven kills Diana. Diana goes, "Wait, you have to save this little girl, Victoria, please, for me, forty-seven. So that must have been Victoria talking. Hey. <sighs> All oh, right, wait. What are we doing here? Supreme training and physique enhanced beyond ordinary human capacity mean that your enemies are no match for you. By cunning or by brute force, you are unstoppable. Players can activate additional checkpoints. Instinct regenerates. Instinct will provide hints. Enemies react more slowly than normal. Hey, blah, blah, blah. Players react additional checkpoints. Normal enemy presence with normal reaction. Hard expert. Purist. Who's purist? No help. No guides. No interface. Only a crosshair. No, fuck that. No for a let's play. This this will be like three hundred videos long if that's the case. Fuck that. Normal. We're going normal. No going easy. Normal. Listen to me. I need you to be brave. A man will come and take you away. I cannot go with you. This is how it has to be. This man is different. He will protect you. Please don't judge him for what he might do. Vivica E. Fox. I'm sorry. May 
maybe someday you will understand. Seven. This is Benjamin Travis. The money has been wired to your account. Welcome to Chicago. I appreciate you taking this assignment, Forty-Seven. It is never easy targeting our own, but is that is that Pebbles Booth? Must be dealt with. That really sounds like Pebbles Booth. One of the teams, but this is a job for a scalpel, not a hammer. I wasn't even paying attention to the. Names coming up at the start, I only kind of noticed when it came up Vivica A. Fox. Aye, that is him. That is him. Sir. Yeah, it's an ice cream truck. Yeah, I know. I'll get rid of him. Get out of here. We don't want anything. What about your partner? What partner? Uh, uh. I don't like to kill Diana. I'll eat Diana. During this assignment, key game elements will be highlighted. First of all, try to kill with discretion and try to remain undetected. Let's look at the interface. In the lower left corner, the blue bar indicates your health. Next to it is the radar. Use it to keep track of enemies, objectives, and exit points. In the lower right corner, you can see what weapon you have selected and if it's hidden. Next to the weapon, the yellow bar indicates how much instinct you have available. If it is depleted, you cannot rely on instinct abilities. Can I run? No, there's 47, no run, no. According to ICA Division Chief Benjamin Travis, my former handler Diana Burnwood has gone rogue, taking with her a valuable agency asset, a girl named Victoria. After months underground, Diana's safe house has been located, a heavily guarded mansion on the shores of Lake Michigan. My objective, eliminate Diana and retrieve the girl. Personal note, Diana saved my life. Although the grounds for termination are just, I take no pride in this assignment. From here on out, I shall refer to her only as my target. Must not get personally involved. Then why did you fucking take it? <gasps> what we got? Challenging it. Oh, fuck all that, man. Right, cool. See, that even feels weird. That's me just clicking the right analog and he, he just crouches. It's like. Eh, which got it's like toggle, it's no hell. That feels weird. It feels a bit splinter cell. I, I'm I'm probably gonna just be comparing this to splinter cell conviction every two seconds because you I've got that in my head. Restricted area. The guard up ahead will try to arrest you if he spots you. So keep low and try to slip past unnoticed. Approach the cover in front of you. When you are in cover, it is harder for your enemies to spot you. Oh, nice wee roll. Some of those new automatic guns. Items found in the world can Anyone be used as close combat weapons, or you can use them to distract your enemies. Throw the wrench at the buckets to distract the guard. Huh? Excellent. Slip past while the guard is distracted. Hey there. Hello? Nay bother. Aim for the head, then increase your precision by steadying your aim. Clean kill. Remember to hide the body. Bodies left in plain sight will alert your enemies. The body 
is now hidden. The container has room for one more body and still has room for you to hide. Holster your weapon. Use your fiber wire to silently eliminate the guard up ahead. She wants to play it close to the chest. That's her choice. But it would make our jobs a hell of a lot easier if we knew what was going on. Over and out. Clean kill. Notice oh, the fiber wet. wire allows you to drag your target immediately. Fuck's sake. See, remember when you used to hold in the button and he would wrap it around his horns and you would sneak? And then you get behind him, you'd let it go, and they would just fucking like, yeah! One button does it himself. I do like being able to instantly drag them though, that's quite good. That's him away. Oh. Alright, you're next. Clean kill. Remember to hide the body. Bodies left in plain sight will alert your enemies. Hmm. It feels alright so far. It's no hellish. It just feels a bit weird. It doesn't feel like Hitman. That's the only way I can describe it. Agent 47's training and supreme senses allow him to keenly oh. perceive his surroundings. Notice the guards deployed throughout the garden. I'm not supposed to know about the uh, heavy stuff. Hank is old school. It's not one to air his dirty laundry in public. Hold on. Have I got subtitles? We do. Where am I going? David. Yeah. She's been begging him to seek help, but he doesn't want anyone to know. Least of all us. Man, 25 years. Hey, don't even think about it. I'm serious. Distraction, steady aim or fiber wire. The choice is yours. Ah oh, shit. Shit, there's a box over there I could have put him in. Bastard. I'm never gonna get over there, Ray. Oh, drag. Ah, come on, come on. Please don't see me, please don't see me. Some you are being arrested. Oh! Instead, fake surrender or calmly walk to a secluded area, then deal with your enemy. Taking him in. That was alright, but I felt like I had no fucking involvement in it. It was like watching somebody else do it. Your current weapon is unsilenced and might alert your enemy. Consider using your silenced silver baller pistols. and listen to the people around you. They may give vital information or simply let you know when the coast is clear. My wife's a state champion in gossip. It's only a matter of time. Not that I don't mm. appreciate your concern. Stun it up. Mark my words, kid. You should get out of soldier. Use instinct or consult the radar to locate the exit. Death and depression. And either way, you can be damn sure it's gonna rain the whole time.
Use instinct to anticipate enemy movement. Looks like a chef's cooking up a storm. The guard is headed for the railing and will not reach you. I tell you. Edged That's and weird looking. Can be used for deadly throws as well as distractions. Focus on a target. Now throw. Clean kill. You can dump the body over the railing. Oh fuck! I left. I left my knife in his head. Bastard. There's fiber wire for you, pal. Ah, fuck it. Push. There you go. The greenhouse up ahead will require a disguise to infiltrate unnoticed. Look for a disguise. It's sitting there, let me use it. You are disguised as a gardener. In this disguise, you are allowed to be in the greenhouse area. Be mindful that other gardeners see through your disguise if you come too close. So I know what I'm distance. doing. Trick the gardener. Keep using instinct until you are safely inside. The gardeners up ahead will become suspicious, and you are too low on instinct to blend in past them. Try to look for another way. I'm not exactly used to working with armed guards breathing down my neck. What the hell is it all for, anyway? Who is this woman? I have no idea. I've only seen her once. Yes, sir! Stop that now! So. Guards are blocking the exit. Look for a way to distract them. Use instinct to locate objects of interest. What? Not just perfect. Just perfect. I'm gonna kill these maintenance clowns. The guards have been dealt with. Doing so, you regain some instinct. Yes. The guards are preoccupied. You can kill them or sneak past. The choice is yours. Leaving people alive is cleaner, but might complicate your effort to remain undetected. Yet this is the mark of the silent assassin. To leave the world around him unaware and untouched. Good. Infiltrate the mansion and terminate Diana Burnwood. And Victoria, bring her in, unharmed. Oh shit, what am I doing? I want to know who this fucking Victoria is. You're kidding. Wait, are, are you sure? It's not prostate cancer. Oh, I could kiss you. I mean, that's great news. Oh, man. You made my day. Yeah, thanks, Doc. Yeah. I thought I was a goner. Yeah. Uh, Doc, I gotta run. Duty calls. And, and thank I'm you sorry, mate. And, uh, I'm sorry. Nice day too. Yeah, bye. Sorry. You are now inside the mansion. Your current disguise will be suspicious to the mansion guards. Either find a new disguise or try to remain undetected. I feel really bad for that guy. Hey, it's no prostate cancer. Oh, it's a fault to my death. Oh. The mansion guard disguise gives you full access to the mansion interior. Be mindful that other mansion guards see through your disguise if you come too close. So keep a safe distance. I'm trying to remember what I watched in the the first level playthrough, but I think this is as far as I actually saw. I don't know why I watched all yet, just to like spoil the first level for myself. So I just watched a bit to see what the gameplay was going to be like. There we go. Evidence of what? Throughout the game, you will find evidence. 
Removing the evidence will award you rating points and instant. All right. Beyond this door, the rating system will be turned on. It will monitor your playstyle and reward your progress. You can see it in the top left corner. As always, how you handle your assignment is entirely up to you. Good luck. Okay. So now I'm getting rated. Better haul ass. The head hates having to repeat itself. You said that I'd see meeting. Listen up. What's that guy's unit doing here? And will remain so for the time being. For those of you who do not know the drill, I will personally appoint a close protection host for each client on a six hour. Oh, no, 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 that way. You will not, I repeat, not leave your VIP side for any reason during your shift. Any breach of procedure will result in immediate termination and subsequent blacklisting. Rest assured, if you fail in your duties, you will never work in this business again. This is all. Dismissed. All right. Come on, you can tell me. My lips are Use instinct to locate objects of interest. Handed down from master to apprentice for centuries. I will take the secret ingredient with me to the grave. Uh huh. Is it salt? No. No. What do you take me for? Salt? Please. I am one of the finest chefs in this culinary wasteland you call a nation. You put liquid butter on your popcorn, and you have the nerve to make assumptions about my award winning recipes. Go. Shame on you, sir. Shame. Now go on. Get out of here. Sh -sh -sh -sh. All right, all right. Relax. I was only asking. Christ. Don't have a heart attack. Out, I say. Go guard a gate. Or shoot at some beer can, you big ape. You are now engaged in close combat. Oh, and shit. Opponent. Oh, no. Didn't you mean it? Didn't you mean it? Me. I'm not gonna kill you. Hey, that's a good boy. You go to sleep. Fuck's sake, man! I just wanted to get out the fucking chef. The body is now hidden. The container has room for one more body, and still has room for you to hide. You were disguised as a chef. You are allowed everywhere in the ground floor mansion area. No one in the mansion will see through this disguise, but be mindful not to carry visible weapons as they will cause suspicion. The container is now full. There is no more room for additional bodies or for you to hide. Right, so can I poison this food? Is it a fugu fish? Hmm, nothing. Oh, I can run. Thank fuck. If you see anything weird, report to us immediately. Well, uh, whatever, mate. This is Alpha. I don't care. Order one of those mobile restrooms to put in the guards. Will not risk infiltration by allowing anyone into the mansion that has not been directed by myself or by my staff. No. See that it is done. Over. Um, coffee. What the fuck am I doing? Chef knows his coffee. Seems to know. Not even the head, I think. 
But I caught a glimpse of the documents you the other chef's day when I was on escort duty. Why was I and not informed? Skull and Bones logo in the words uh, Mercis Ledifer. Whoa, whoa, what's, what's happened to your, what's happened to your coffee there, mate? Next generation gaming. So he sat his coffee down. Oh, surely I can poison him. Where would I find poison? What's, there's got to be something in this kitchen. I put a knife in a coffee. No. Uh, no. Fuck it, I'll go and have another look around and see what I can find. This is Alpha. In the truck for explosives. Put two men on it and check the ravine. Maybe the driver had an accident. Over. Don't hang around if you don't have business here, sir. Leave me alone. Ah, it can't be that rusty. This thing needs a tuning. We should get a piano guy. Oh, your coffee stopped floating. That's that's handy. What? New chef's assistant. Why was You've said that. <laughs> um. Uh, I need poison. End of day, any poison? Poison. This is a terrible let's play. Fuck it. Back to being a guard and I'll go and see what's up the stairs. Checkpoints, man. I'm, I'm age of forty-seven. Right, why does he keep stopping running? I'm holding in the button. He just runs about, stops, runs about, stops. So gonna put sleeping pills in the coffee. Move along, sir. Right, but what is this actually gonna Alpha to escort two. Wait, hold on, but if I put her as a sleeping pills in, he'll die. Do not let anybody inside without my partner. He'll die. Too many sleeping pills will kill him. Fuck it man, I'm pausing it there, let's call that the end of this bit. Eh, hey, see you next time, maybe we'll see if I'm getting this cunt an overdose or if he'll just instantly fall asleep because you you know that's what happens if you take one sleeping tablet takes a couple of hours. If you take 50, it just speeds up the process. So it does. Uh, see you next time.